everybody, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go ahead and do my March bullet journal setup. It is a little early. I'm filming this today on February 11th and I was kind of inspired by a few things, but this is going to sound completely crazy. I don't really have a plan. I haven't drawn out. I've drawn out a few things, but not really the entire setup. Uh, these are the washi tapes I'm working with. This is kind of what I'm inspired by. So kind of like, not florals, I'm not really going to do florals per se, but I might do some leaves. And I'm also thinking of these colors. So for markers, I will be using two of the green Crayola Super Tips and this salmon colored Zebra Mild Liner. So, and then the other thing I have is this Jelly Roll Metallic Gold Pen. So it's not really sparkly, it's definitely metallic, but the gold... Um, and this pen just seems to write really nice. So I wanted to use that. And then the last thing that I have in front of me are my Fine Tech Pearlescent Paints. So this one has a range between like this pearly kind of light bronze or gold to this beautiful um, copper. And I'm probably going to use these two colors here. And um, I'm also using this stencil on the front page. So you'll kind of see how I use it when I get into it. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to play the video for you and then we'll come back and talk about the spreads after we're all done. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so we are all done. Um, got a few things to say about this. This is not how I planned out this bullet journal spread at all, but I'm pretty sure I said that about the last two. So um, this one was a little bit less unplanned. I didn't actually write anything out. And uh, it's kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. So um, living by the spur of the moment. So when I did this painting thing with this stencil, these stencils are, they're like, five dollars for a huge pack from Amazon. I don't know if I can find that. If I can, I'll try to link something similar for you, but uh, they don't work very well, um, as you can see. So if you use really liquidy paint, um, the trick would be to basically tape it down so it doesn't move. But as soon as the middle part lifts up, the wet paint just goes underneath and just kind of wrecks it. So um, I, I think I salvaged that. I think I kind of like it this way. Um, my original design, what I wanted to do for this page was completely different than what I did, um, but I'm really happy with this and it's original. I don't think, um, like, yeah, I, I just, and also the new thing for me is putting the title down, like up and down vertically instead of across the page because I've never done this and, um, change is good. So, um, I really picked up on the gold accents on the foil. So, um, not so much like the geometric design or the roses, but I really like how the gold on the foil complements, on the washi tape complements that gold, and then also on the leaves. Now, going forward, I didn't really do much decorating, but um, I might want to add like a leaf and then just some gold on top. I haven't really played around, and honestly, this is more functional lately than it has been decorative. I just try to make the front page decorative, so I have like a cover page. So... My quote is by Oprah Winfrey. It says, you define your own life, but don't let other people write your script. And um, I had fun with the flowing lettering because it wasn't, um, I, I was trying to like let loose a little bit, not control it so much because when I control it, it usually slants in one direction every single time. That's just the way I normally write. So I like how it's beautiful. It's flowy. It's nice. And then my calendar, so the page is a little crinkly from the wet paint, but that's fine. And I decorated it with washi tape, which I've really been loving doing because I do use washi tape in my planner, but I like to use it at the bottom of my bullet journal. And uh, so this is my calendar. So anything that goes on during the week, that's what I do. Um, I'll show you the previous two here quick because I know this video was already pretty long. So this was January, so I mean, it was pretty busy, but I had a lot of different videos going on. And then February, so far, because we're not done yet, is right here. So, and usually the end of the month is busier for me. Oops, I have to get into focus. The end of the month is usually busier for me than anything because I've got more videos coming out and just preparing for the next month. So, yeah, that's what that looks like. So I've got my content schedule for my YouTube and my blog. Changed the washi tape, which I love this pink color. Some of the washi tape isn't sticking so well. Just FYI, I did get it from Michaels. And when I was in Michaels, I noticed that all of the washi tape was on sale. I got this 10 pack for $10. And I think what was happening, it was probably old stock. So obviously it's not sticking properly. And if you get low quality washi tape, generally Michaels isn't too bad. But if it's really old, the adhesive will eventually stop sticking. So to cure that, I just used some glue tape, some of my Tombow glue tape, which I now can't find to show you, but I'll link it down below. So anyway, um, I have a focus goal one and two because basically each quarter I have between like three and four goals I focus on for each quarter. So for the entire year, I'm going to have at least, if I do four goals per quarter, that's going to be 16 goals total for the year. And uh, I'm focusing on the 12-week year. It's really helping me be productive. Um, I've it, with my goals this year, like I do have goals that are like drink this much water every day. Like I've got quantifiable, obtainable goals, which I've broken down into such small things that I have to do it every day. But these are more for like the big projects that I'm planning on doing. <clears throat> so one of the big projects, I'm not sure if I'll finish 
doing it in February or not because it wasn't really planned for February, but is opening my Etsy shop. Technically it's open, but I will be um, putting all of my sticker listings into my shop and I have over a hundred. So it's going to take me some time to do that. And that's going to be one of my focus goals. So basically in the one quarter, I break that down into the three months. So because this is March, I'll go over March, April, May. Hopefully I'll have it done before then because um, summer is more of my relaxation time where I like to spend more time outside. I do all of my writing of my, I write my blogs outside. Like I'm, I write and I also sometimes bring my planner outside too. So um, I'm going to try to get this stuff done in March as opposed to anything else. And then the second goal might be um, focusing again on Instagram. So yeah, so this is basically for any other ideas that I have in my business. I'm um, just a quick jot, like a place to jot them down. And daily successes, this is, um, I kind of go through each day. And instead of an affirmation, which is like, telling yourself that you can have something if you've, you've already got it, even though you don't. Kind of like a manifestation, I guess. But uh, daily success is, it's all the things that I've done right in a day. So um, I'll usually wait till the next day. So it would be on the second and I'd write down on Tuesday um, what I did that day, what I've accomplished, or if I did something good for my kids, something something positive that uh, that I got done. Then I've got gratitude and affirmations. You also notice that I switched the font every second page so here I kind of focused on the same flowing font I had here and then this the cover font is what I focused on uh, every second page except I use lowercase um, on these pages and then the um, title page has all uppercase so gratitude is what I'm thankful for each day. Affirmation is what I said similar to kind of similar to manifestation but just um, affirming beliefs in myself so that I've got a more positive mindset. Okay, and then I've got my weight tracker. I don't include the numbers, I just include the days and I'll fill this out later. Dream log, which just again an empty blank space for me to write down any dreams if I remember them. My habit tracker and my mood log. Um, I've really been enjoying this graph style habit tracker so I'll just simply put an X for whichever everything I've done on that certain day, I'll just check it off with an X. I've really been been enjoying that. And then as for the mood tracker, I take two different colors. So obviously this one will be either this green or this green and then the salmon color. So then I just alternate colors. Um, I did that in my whole previous uh, Scribbles That Matter bullet journal. I haven't actually done a flip through of that and I've been meaning to film that. So I'm probably gonna do that soon. I just have to cover up any of the personal information. Um, but yeah, I love the colors, like alternating the colors is just super, super nice. So this is for January. That is the colors I used there, which I really love. Even though this doesn't really go in the end, it kind of does. I don't know. I, I like it. And as long as you like your bullet journal or planner, that's really all that matters. And then for February so far, I did a rainbow theme. So this is what we're looking at so far for February. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I really like it. It's something that's seen similar on um, oh, Helen Colebrook's channel. She did something similar, kind of like a, a very functional graph type spread. And that's really what I prefer um, lately. Uh, actually, the last like two bullet journals is what I've been doing. So my doodle a day is simply a page where I can write or draw my picture. I'll go to the front of my bullet journal here. This is where I get the doodles. So this one was Oh So Cute Doodles. This one was Rando Doodles by Cindy Gunter Baldo um, on her Facebook group. And I just, you can go on the internet and search doodle challenges and you can print whatever you want off and just draw whatever it says to draw for that 31 or 30 days. And so I'm currently on this random one here for February. Uh, January didn't turn out so good. I'll show you guys. I don't think Instagram because I was a little embarrassed of my drawings. Sometimes I I go really fast and then I don't like, I don't do so well. So anyway, this was January. But February, you guys, I am so proud of it because these are like all of my favorite characters. It's Land Before Time and The Secret of Nim. They are like my two ultimate favorite movies of childhood. So I've been doing really, really well with these. I just haven't outlined them all in, in black, like in a dark, um, thicker marker. So I've done some of them, just not the rest of them. 
So yeah, so that's the doodle a day. So it does, in the end, it looks fantastic if you do it nice. And then of course my lettering challenge. So this is just for me to practice my lettering styles. And then this month I might do the same lettering and just try to improve my calligraphy skills or something. So anyway, that's it for this March bullet journal setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, join me over on Instagram too. I am trying to grow my Instagram. I want to do reels and stuff. So when this goes live, I might do a quick flip through on Instagram as a reel instead of a um, I might start doing that because I really want to increase my following there as well. And it just starts by posting more often. So I'm doing that. And click on the bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, friends. Bye now.